If you use AI writer tools, you know that one of the main challenges is to write about facts. In fact, all these algorithms, so GPT-3 and the others, are not made to write about facts, they are made to write in a creative way. Well, some are better than others when writing about facts, but they are not perfect, so you always need to fact check when you write something. And I want to talk about this today. This is the reason why, for example, OpenAI is uh, uh, researching about a new kind of model, it's called the Web GPT-3, that is made to improve the factual accuracy of language models through web browsing. And if you read uh, their article, you can see that they are trying to build a new model with GPT-3 uh, that is able to search in the SERP uh, and extract uh, factual information from the SERP. And as you can see in this uh, uh, graphic, uh, uh, this is the factual accuracy when uh, we talk about uh, AI writing tools and the most advanced models only goes uh, over 50% of factual accuracy. So this is not uh, really uh, good. This is why they are researching about a way to uh, improve this uh, factual accuracy using a new model. And uh, I'm pretty sure they will be able to do it. Uh, and uh, in the future, we will have uh, something slightly better in factual accuracy. And this is the same reason why, for example, Phrase, another uh, great AI writing tool uh, is uh, releasing this new SERP writer. I talk about this uh, in my previous video. They are uh, releasing this new SERP writer to generate content inspired by information from search engine result pages. So to have a higher factual accuracy when using AI writing tool. They are um, doing a webinar, a free webinar on July 12. Uh, I suggest you to register for this webinar. It's free. Even if you don't want to use a phrase, but you are just curious about uh, uh, how it can be this uh, SERP writer, and this is just one of the uh, news they will release uh, in a phrase. So just if you are curious, I think it's a good idea to uh, participate in this webinar. Uh, you can find uh, the link here below my video, you can register for free, and don't worry if you can't attend it, because uh, you will receive the recording. And another reason I suggest you to register for this webinar is because I think they will uh, uh, give some kind of special promotion during this webinar, so maybe you will have the chance to uh, try phrase uh, maybe for free or maybe with a super big discount. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I suppose that. Anyway, today in this video, I want to try something. Uh, as you have seen here, I was watching for the uh, Michael Jackson page inside uh, Wikipedia because I want to try something with different uh, AI writing tools. For example, I will try to write something about Michael Jackson's music career inside Closer Scopy, inside Phrase, and inside Jasper AI. And we can see some differences, we can see how is factually correct, uh, we can see where uh, can be the problems. So let's start very quickly from uh, closer scope in this case. I will use the simplest way to generate text uh, with uh, AI in uh, all the tools, uh, uh, but uh, let me show you. For example, uh, in closer scope, I need to uh, select this text and, for example, uh, click on expand. And let's see how is the output in this case. I just started with this uh, little uh, lead here. Michael Jackson was born in Gary, Indiana. This is a correct information. He was raised in the suburbs of Los Angeles, California, and began singing in church as a child. 
he took up the guitar at the age 10 and practiced by playing along with his favorite records. At age 12, he formed a group called the Jackson. This is not uh, a correct information because, uh, uh, as far as I know, he joined Jackson 5 uh, uh, when he was uh, six uh, years old. Uh, as you can see, he was born in 1958 uh, and uh, in uh, 1964, Michael and Marlon joined the Jackson Brothers. So this is not uh, a perfect uh, information. Uh, again, by age 13, he had begun to develop an interest in music production and recording. His first record was produced in, by Motown in, uh, and this is a trunked phrase, at age 14 he released his first album entitled I Want You Back. I don't think this is uh, correct because I Want You Back one, uh, was one of the songs by Jackson 5. Uh, um, so he released is not uh, correct. Uh, in 1969, Michael Jackson signed a, a record contract with Epic Records. Uh, it's true that he went with uh, Epic here, left Motown in 1975 and not in 1969. So. Uh, one of the problem, one of the issue with AI writing tools is especially with numbers, dates, uh, percentages. Uh, um, the most of the time they are not correct. So you will always need to fact check or maybe do your research before writing with AI tools so you can uh, insert the uh, right information. But the more you experience Expand your text and the more you have chance to see incorrect uh, information. So, so the facts uh, can uh, be very messy. At age 15, he recorded his second album, Thriller. This is not uh, correct because uh, this album uh, is not released when he was 15. Uh, and so on. This is just a little example how you can uh, uh, so write uh, at the moment factual uh, content with AI, for example, using uh, with uh, um, with closest copy this uh, long form where you can uh, insert some. Uh, information, some factual information, you need to do your research before, insert some factual information here and uh, uh, use uh, this uh, tool, for example, or other templates to uh, have your output. But even in this case, uh, um, many times AI tends to uh, be too much creative and uh, <laughs> write something more, something that is not really correct. So you always need to fact check. Let's try to do the same thing, for example, here in phrase. Now I just uh, created a new document, Michael Jackson's music career. Here I have all my uh, research. So the first 20 ranking articles in, uh, in the SERP. And this uh, makes it very easy, for example, to do a, a fast and quick uh, research. For example, who was Michael Jackson? I can read uh, something here, uh, early life and family. And at the moment, uh, one way you can write uh, something factual is, for example, choosing one of your competitor articles. Uh, for example, here, let's take this one, move to epic and uh, off the wall. Uh, here we have uh, something in the H1, life and career. So, for example, if I uh, place my cursor here, I can just uh, click on write about this uh, and uh, AI will uh, take uh, this information to write uh, something. But I noticed that even in this case, uh, sometimes uh, the information, uh, the, the output you get from AI is not really uh, perfect. But let's see. 
Michael Joseph Jackson was born on June 25, 1958 in Gary, Indiana, United States. He was named after his grandfather Joseph Jackson, American singer and actor. Uh, his parents were Joseph and Catherine Jackson. His mother was a homemaker. Uh, when Michael was three years old, the family moved to South Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I don't know if this is correct. Uh, at age five, he started singing in church choirs. Uh, he also played football, basketball and baseball. I don't know if this is uh, correct. Uh, uh, let's see. Jackson 5 made an impact on pop music history when he began recording for Epic Records. Uh, uh, anyway, you can stop the video, read this paragraph, for example, and, and see. As you can see, AI in this case uh, took this piece of information as an input to write uh, something different. Uh, but uh, in this case, with the phrase, uh, you have something more because you can research uh, the SERP. Uh, you can do it also here in uh, Closer's Copy with this new SEO uh, function. For example, you can uh, let me um, do something here. For example, uh, Michael Jackson music career. Okay, let's try to do a quick search with uh, uh, the new SEO function here in Closest Copy. As you can see, you have your uh, SERP, just like in Phrase. You just need to select your article, open with this uh, uh, arrow key, just wait a few seconds and you will have your article. So you can do more or less the same thing. Uh, but let's try to use the write for me button here and let's see how the output is in this case. Okay, at the age of seven, Jackson joined the Jackson 5, an American popular music group, the group which uh, consisted of himself, uh, his brother German, Marlon, Tito and Jackie, who was managed by their father. Uh, okay, as you can see, even here you can do something like this if you want to extract something from the SERP. It's not perfect, uh, both in uh, closest copy and in phrase. In phrase, uh, I can also try to just click here on AI Write, for example, uh, in the freeform editor, if I click on write for me, I think uh, it will start to write something about Michael Jackson's music career. Let's uh, wait a moment. Okay, as you can see, I now have some kind of intro. Michael Jackson was one of the greatest entertainers of our time and so on. Jackson began singing at age 3 and released his first album at age 11. By the time he was 15 he had recorded five albums with Motown Records. His first solo album came out in 1971. He went on to release eight studio albums on the next decade. In 1982, he singed with Epic Records and released the Thriller, which uh, sold over 30 million copies worldwide. Now, again, you can uh, stop uh, uh, this video and read. I don't know if it's uh, all perfectly correct in uh, this case. Um, but this is how AI writing tools uh, work. Now, let's try with Jasper because GPT-3 it's a little bit more advanced as an algorithm, so let's try to uh, use the simple uh, compose button to, uh, to see how Jasper writes something about Michael Jackson's career. When it comes to the question of who is the greatest entertainer of all time, there are few that can match the legacy of Michael Jackson. The king of pop's career spanned five decades, and he left behind a catalogue of music that has influenced the artists across genres. As you can see, uh, Jasper is uh, really creative. He wrote a very good introduction for our article in this case. It's not going 
straight to the point uh, as uh, maybe phrase and uh, closest copy did Jackson got his start in the music industry as a member of the Jackson 5, a family band that found success with Motown Records in the early 70s. The group's infectious pop sound and Michael's high-pitched vocals quickly made them stars, and they went on to release several hit songs, including I Want You Back and ABC. This is uh, all correct information as far as I know uh, maybe here uh, I, I think they started before uh, the 70s but uh, let's check uh, again here uh, Michael joined uh, Jackson 5 in uh, 1964 so maybe this is not really correct as a solo artist, Jackson achieved even greater success. His 1982 album Thriller remains the, let's click again on Compose, the best selling album of all time, and it produced seven top 10 singles, including the classic Billie Jean and Beat It, and so on. You can uh, stop the video and uh, read by yourself. Uh, this uh, uh, piece of uh, output. Uh, GPT-3 is uh, uh, honestly slightly better in doing this job, but uh, you need to consider that uh, this uh, information, the history of Michael Jackson, is very popular. When you need to write uh, something factual, for example, uh, that is not included in, uh, uh, in this AI algorithm, uh, training uh, it's more difficult uh, anyway you can always feed the AI in a closer copy you can yes extract from the SERP in this case you can use for example long form to give uh, some context to AI here and give some information the same in phrase here in the background context you can give the AI some information that will be used to give uh, outputs uh, or in Jasper you can give information here in the content description for example this information will be used in output or maybe uh, in the paragraph generator I tried uh, some minutes ago for example uh, giving some uh, little context uh, in the paragraph generator Michael Jackson's music career started when he was very young at the age of six and he was part of the Jackson 5 family group this was just the starting point to a great solo career and this was my output uh, as you can see uh, it took this information uh, and uh, added something so you can also use uh, the paragraph generator to have uh, something using the information you provide the factual information you provide anyway it will never be perfect uh, this is why i'm very curious to see how this uh, SERP writer in phrase will work i hope for the best i, I don't expect it to be uh, again uh, perfect but i think it will be a step further in this uh, factual writing using ai so again i suggest you to subscribe to this uh, webinar one because it's free and two because i think uh, there will be even some kind of uh, special promotion during this uh, webinar if you maybe want to try phrase so this is another reason I will participate to this webinar and I suggest you to do the same. Again, you can find my link to join this webinar, this page here below my video. And then we will wait also for this web GPT algorithm. And I'm pretty sure that once it will be released, we will find it inside Jasper. So we only need to wait. I hope this video was helpful in some way. If so, please click on the like button subscribe to my channel share this video click on the bell so you will receive a notification thank you very much for being here and see you in the next video